everybody out there in Let's Play land. It's the Ultra Publications Let's Play. Now, I know we said we'd be going to Edo, Japan, but LK, who was supposed to be taking us there, is currently in the hospital of some issues. You see, he got into a fight with Drunken Sonic where he mocked him for not being an actual ra mutant radioactive glowing weasel, and Sonic sort of smashed his broken Jack Daniels bottle in LK's face. So while LK's recuperating, we'll instead be entertaining you with our very own substitute, Demi LK. You might know him as Shadow Dragon from the forums which we've also mentioned a few times in our Let's Play. People, while Shadow Dragon is coming in for LK, do not fear. We will give him the exact same lack of respect, or even less so, than we give the actual LK. Shadow Dragon, tell the people hello. Hello, people. That's right. He's Shadow Dragon. And if he fails to entertain you, we shall feed him to a vicious pit of piranha. I'm scared of piranha. Indeed you should be. So, with Wedge once again as our master DJ of all things game playing, what game will we be playing today since we can't be taking a trip to Mystical Ninja? We will be playing the indie title, Duty and Beyond, that was made using the Adventure Game Studio. Ah, well, better playing an adventure game about duty than having a hobo do duty in your yard. It smells. Let's get it going. All right. Let's get it up. Um, is it starting? Oh, no. Eh, I can't screw something up. Oh, they're smelly. I can fix it. Well, audience, um, <laughs> we will give you some more introduction to our Demi LK of the day while Wedge fixes these technical issues. So, Demi LK... How long have you been a watcher of our show? Uh, I would say since the beginning, since I, you started these Let's Plays. Ah, uh, you must be a, a traumatized man. We apologize for that. I'm also quite insane. Was that before or after you saw us? A little both. Ah. Uh, by the way, do you have aspirations for life? Um, if I do, they elude me right now. Just like LK. Perfect. You're just the man we were looking for. So we're ready to start up for reals this time? Let's go! Let's do it. Can you see it this time? Wandering yes, Adventures! Explore our worlds. Those are some shitty graphics. It was a dark and stormy night. It was so stormy that wasn't a cloud in the sky. Wow, he's really excited to be going nowhere. I'd be excited to be on a scooter in the middle of the night with no other cars on the road. You know, you're living a pretty sad life when you have to try to liven up your pizza delivery by making yourself believe it's an adventure. And monologuing to yourself. Yes, that's when you know you have no life. Wow, his name Piet? is Piet. Piet. This isn't looking good, Piet. You're talking to yourself about delivering a pizza. You're going to be a lonely shut-in. I, I guarantee it. It could be. Could be. He could be Piet from Chrono Trigger. I guess the lawyering didn't work out for him. Or maybe this is before he went, um, became a law student. Maybe this is when he learned to pay for it. Maybe this is how he Piet paid for his law school. What? I thought Pia was one of the soldiers that was uh, doing the switch around thing in the tent. Oh. Well, then I guess this was actually a step up from his last job. Sorry, I, I had him confused with Pierre. Yeah, that's Pierre. I don't know. We're all just confused right now. So is this guy if he's having That's problems delivering great. pizzas. That's great, Piet. You can't deliver the pizza, so you're going to break into the house. That is, that's some really good logic. I can't deliver the pizza. I'm going to find a way to break into your house. Well, his reputation is at stake. 
his reputation as a burglar. Let's try yelling through the door. Well, he only talks constantly. He has to talk to the voices in his head. Keep That's not very loop. trusty. I don't see how you can use a bike to get to the window. He's going to Assassin's Creed this shit. Well, that'd be a more interesting game than delivering a pizza. I don't know. He could put on a cloak and pull daggers out of somewhere. Or pizza cutters. It... Pizza cutters! Okay, now I'd play that game. Uh-oh, we have plot. So wait, they expected him to climb through the window? It was left open. Okay, see, don't go into this house. This is clearly the house of an eccentric old guy. Eccentric old guys are not to be trusted. You'll probably find some doomsday experiment threatening the world. It's like the Defoe building from uh, Five Days a Stranger. It lures you in and then it just kills you later. Yeah, he already referenced that. It's been a long time. See, since... look, stand still for a second. Watch yeah. this. He, it, it, it's his life depends. His life, his honor depends on delivering this pizza. But watch what happens. He opens it up and eats a slice. I mean, if we let him stand around long enough, there's not even going to be a pizza to deliver. So what's this duty he's talking about? As long as there's there a box goes. in the customer's hands. Yeah, a box in the customer's hand, an empty box. That's some duty. Trophies. Oh, yeah, yes. yeah. You're one to call the guy in the, in the house to show off for displaying his trophies when you're the one who's breaking into the house just to deliver a pizza. You don't think that's show off -y? That and trophies are meant to be shown off. Coals are misspelled. Huzzah for misspelling. As usual, per adventure game rules, grab anything and everything. Snooker sounds like a bad word. To note, it's tradition that most adventure game studio games has a boot cup somewhere in the game. As for all adventure games, take anything that isn't glued down. Wait, did the guy, like, call every pizza parlor in town? Guess so. What do you want to tell her? I don't know, man. They all seem generic. If you wanted to be okay. Let me guess, all these doors are locked. Oh. It's a bathroom. Which would only be locked if it's a Resident Evil game. Or someone's in it. Is this going to turn out to be the first clock tower again? I don't think anyone comes out of that bathroom stall. I hope not, that scared the crap out of me. Ah, uh, bathroom joke. You're all... Ladies and gentlemen, Shadow Dragon is already succeeding in his job as the Demi-LK. I do my job well. And we are currently walking around the house with kleptomania. With all the stuff we're stealing, we shouldn't be given a tip. We should actually be asked for a bill. Well, Clovis, as all adventure games, you have to be a klepto to get your job done. Even as a pizza delivery boy, he is getting his job done. 
His job is to steal everything and eat the pizza. Well, oops. Good point. Oop. Yeah, I made a little misclick. These, These are, are some pizza really. Boy than Philip J. Fry. It's a key in the coat. I mean, these are some really bad graphics. Like, whoever made this game, part? whoever made this game, clearly never had to wear glasses or anything else. Better they really like the Sega CD. With really tiny graphics. Oh, that was that was really tiny cutscenes. Normally, I play this at full screen. At least you have that option. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> We're not even going to describe things to the audience. We're just going to say that's blah, blah, blah. Uh, the artist doesn't even know what the things in the game are. They're just teeny tiny pixels. Wow. We're at... I know most graphic adventure game heroes have to be a kleptomaniac, but we've already stole a lot of shit. There was a doorway under the table. Yeah. At least it was semi-hidden. It could have been Hugo and not hidden at all. Throw chop. Yes, throw chop indeed. He's got a piece of meat, so he could do that. Oh god, it is turning into a Resident Evil game. Don't keep exploring the house. You really don't want to find out what the experiments are. You become infected with the T-Virus. Or you'll be chased by very slow zombies and given guns you can't aim. Trying to combine random stuff. Yep. Or worse, be called Jill Sandwich. Yes, we'll start having really bad voice acting. What? What is this? No! Don't go! Hmm. Blood. Hope this isn't Chris's blood. Don't open that door! Oh, Barry. Okay, that's enough Resident Evil quotes. <laughs> okay. Just encouraging the game to... Do oh, jeez. I thought that was a snake for a second. It does sort of look like a snake rather than a comfy chair. It's like the snake is getting ready to bite him. And it's also floating in the air or stuck between bars. Are we supposed to find some numbers here? Oh, and there it goes. He's eating the merchandise again. You guys gotta eat. But he shouldn't now that he's got a juicy piece of meat. Yeah, eat the meat, not the merchandise. Then again, in an adventure game, I'm not sure you want to eat the meat. You never know how long it's been laying there, especially if it's um, a Castlevania game. The meat might have been laying the staircase forever. HP is HP. Yeah, but if the HP has been sitting there for 12 months, you're also going to have you're also going to have some butt rocket powers. Simon has got dysentery? Oh, yeah. Simon's got some serious ass dysentery. Or typhoid, I guess. Simon's got... Simon Belmont's got some dysentery and Maria broke her shoulder. Also, everyone failed to forge the river. You, uh, you died. Yeah, he can't swim. And let's not... For, oh, yeah, that's right. No... No Castlevania hero has ever been able to swim. And if it's really, and if it's really a an episode of Oregon Trail, there's got to be at least one character in the party that's named Fart Knocker, and then when the next person plays it, it says, "Here lies Fart Knocker." Hey guys, I'm the master of unlocking. 
Oh, indeed he is. There goes more pizzas. I think he's out of that box by now. It's a fourth dimensional box. It, it attaches to the pizza dimension. Or perhaps it's a never ending pizza. It keeps regenerating itself. Never ending pizza! You notice all the um burglary tools he's found in this house? You know, wire cutters, crowbars, lock cutters, a plunger. I'm not sure how a plunger is a is a burglary tool. If you had more than one of them, you could use them to scale a building. Doesn't that only work in cartoons? They tried it on Mythbusters. I don't think they did it very well, though. And Mythbusters disproving something is not necessarily scientific. No, but sometimes it is. I don't think I have what I need to get to the nest. Ah, pity that girl could have come in and shoved him out the window while he was out it. Then the game would be over. <laughs> we could go home! He would like that. Get on the trip back to Japan. Yeah, we can go back to Edo, Japan. Oh, wait, we can't. LK still recovering from Drunken Sonic's handiwork. I'm telling you, people, don't insult Drunken Sonic. He's had a bad life. He doesn't need you making fun of him. And he always has an endless supply of broken Jack Daniel bottles. Hanging on the edge for tomorrow. Great. More breaking and entering. You know what you get to do now? What? Oh, great. We're going to dig up the grave, aren't we? <laughs> oh, oh, man. Dude, we, it, 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 it's like a Resident Evil mansion. Don't be digging up grave. This is going to be bad. This can't end well, dude. This guy's breaking more laws than the people in, like, the King's Quest games do. He digs up the grave and he even has a bad feeling about it. Then why does he do it? Oh, he opened it already. Thriller! Dun, 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 dun. Wrong song. Anyways, um, dude, it's like you, you decide something's a bad idea, then you do it anyways. Is it just because you always listen to the voices in your head that tell you to dig up graves? It's like you can't walk past a grave without digging it up. Well, at least it's Resident Evil and not, like, Evil Dead. Oh, no, that would be cooler, though. Yeah. Then you get a shotgun and a chainsaw arm. Groovy. And also, our protagonist would be a lot cooler because we'd have Ash. Yes, we would. If Ash ate your pizza, it would be an honor. So what do we do with the ground? It's too hard to dig now. I don't know. If Ash ate your pizza, that would be totally awesome. Besides, he'd probably be saving you. You probably don't want S-Mart pizza. I don't think it'd be very good pizza. I don't know. What do you do with the ground? I... I'm horrible at adventure games. Yeah, look at my inventory. I don't see something that would help with loose. I tried playing this once, but I didn't get very far, so don't ask me. Um, Actually, maybe I the think... umbrella's a wily e. coyote umbrella, and it pours rain onto you. Could be. And you can make Actually, I think the, I think the reason I tried playing this is because Wedge told me I had to. We're doing the suit of oh no, I can't do anything. The suit of honor, I don't like. Wow, he won't take the suit of armor? You're a lousy adventure game hero. You're supposed to open up your pants and jam that in there. A real adventure gaming man has fourth dimensional trousers, and he can put live animals in there without his junk getting hurt. He's got a bag of holding for pockets. Yes. For D&D fans. Us adventure game players like to call them hero pants. So, every time he goes to the door, he's like, well, better put on my hero pants. Yeah, I mean, he likes to think of his pizza deliveries as adventures, so clearly he's going to put on hero pants. Good point. 
And besides, he really just think he really just likes to ransack the houses before he gives them the pizza. That's how he makes up for oh. uh, whenever they don't tip him. Found something I missed. Yeah. The most important thing ever. Duct tape. Oh. Duct tape! Game has been instantly won. You have the ultimate item. Now we can use it to solve every puzzle in the game. We will be done in about ten seconds. Something where you need duct tape for. This game has false information. Hey. This game won't let us put duct tape on everything. This game has lied to us. This duct tape is like cake. It's not real. Duct tape goes with everything. Yeah, I totally duct tape the crowbar to the plunger. Awesome. I don't know why that's awesome, but it would clearly be awesome. Yeah, it's only the very top part of a poker or whatever it is. Oh. oh it's not a crowbar. crowbar now. It's just like a metal hook. I think I remember what it's for. But... More proof that this game has horrible graphics. Ooh. We need yeah. a proof this game. We need more proof this game has horrible graphics. It's providing it for us. Ah, well. And then if this game was a loader, have... it would not be Phoenix Wright. No, it would be Winston Payne. It would be the tutorial yeah. level lawyer, and Phoenix Wright would wipe his ass in the game's face. Objection! I am so missing something. And, and then we'd bring the game back every sequel to embarrass it some more. And also grow its hair long. Yeah, but that's only in the sequel that nobody likes, Apollo Justice. That's because it turned Phoenix into the non-playable character. And obviously everybody loves Phoenix. Phoenix is the man. You can't replace Phoenix unless you're Miles Edgeworth. Then you can have your own game series. That's because Miles was cool the first second you saw him, even if he was a jerk. Yes, it, only a man that awesome can make a frilly shirt seem cool. Well, why don't we uh, this up, Phoenix Wright game. end this episode while I figure out what the heck I'm supposed to do next. Well, everybody, that was <laughs> an interesting episode of Petty Theft Thievery and Eating Pizzas. Stop eating that pizza. We're trying to deliver it, you. Maybe next time we will actually get somewhere and rather than just steal everything, because I don't think we've solved a single puzzle yet. I solved the, the puzzle of using a key and door. Wow, that's such a puzzle. Key goes in door. Until next time, everyone. Score, you have so much longer to go. Ciao!